So, welcome to the production diary. Um, I'm just gonna lead you through this with my uh, lovely, lovely voice. So, on the first day of production, I was quite nervous because we had a lot to do um, with a schedule that was packed with uh, camera setups that we had to do. Each day we would have to do around 25 to 40 setups, which is a very, very much for this type of thing we're doing with this small of a crew that we had. Um, and I didn't know all the actors and I haven't worked with all of the crew members before. So there's always this uh, bit of tension, but everyone performed super professional and everyone was super nice just from the get go. The camera gear that I had was uh, the Canon 5D Mark II and the Canon T2i, which are digital SLR cameras, which are photographic cameras, essentially. They're stills cameras, um, but they also do HD video, and because of the uh, really good low-light performance that these cameras give and the lenses that you can screw in front of them, they give you a very, very filmic and nice image. Uh, Michelle Akuvi Müller I worked with for the first time. I noticed her for another project um, for a friend of mine, but that didn't work out, unfortunately. But I had her in mind when I wrote this role of the student, and uh, I just thought, well, let's just ask her. And she was very nice and um, said yes immediately, and... Uh, as soon as we got the contract ready, she was on board, and I love that because I think she has a very unique look to her. I think she does. She even does look a bit like Jessica Alba, just you know, in black. <laughs> and uh, she, I think she's super beautiful, and she's very, very professional. I mean, this is a very technical shoot. You don't have that much time for the actors. Uh, even if I wanted to, I had to shoot so much stuff that. Um, I had to give very technical advice and very technical direction, which is not very easy for an actor to do. Yeah, our first scene was with our uh, violin player, our musician, um, played by Achim Brock, and that guy is uh, very cool. He's he's got the, he he kind of looks like Viggo Mort. I I feel bad that I compare people to other actors, but he really looks like a sort of older version of Viggo Mortensen. I, he really got that gypsy look that I wanted. Um, and you don't really know what, what nationality he is, and I really wanted that, because I didn't want this uh, commercial campaign to be to look German. I really wanted it to look like something international, so that everyone can uh, identify with it. So Achim uh, was our violin player, and he didn't know how to play a violin. So that wasn't as big a problem as it could have been because we didn't shoot with sound. <laughs> Stephen Appleton as well was there. He was just there for a couple of shots the first day. I felt bad for him because he was super tired and uh, he just had to run past. On this scene uh, we also did our first real lighting job uh, and I wanted this to feel like we're in, you know, we had this great location, so I wanted this to feel like almost like Rome or some southern European city. And um, so I wanted to give it a very warm feeling. And uh, thanks to Leo, my camera assistant, who was everywhere at the same time, it seems, he, I just had to shout out, uh, okay, um, put some CTO gels on theirs to give it a warm look, and he would run off and be back uh, before I could, you know, say, go. <laughs> um, and Miriam, my producer, was uh, also my first assistant director. That's the person who constantly reminds you that you have no time. Um, so whenever I shot something, she would be right behind my back saying, you have, you know, 10 more minutes. Actually, as it turned out, we were so, we were so fast that uh, we almost every day had time left and we finished each shooting day um, before our schedule which never happened to me before and that was very nice actually 
Um, then we're here at the uh, next location, our second location on the day, uh, which was actually uh, Miriam's place. Uh, our producer lives in right in this bed. She sleeps. Isn't that creepy? We are very, very, very good. At the beginning, I thought we were. Also, at the beginning, we were a little bit hanging, but we are very good. At the beginning, the schauspielers are fantastic. The crew is fantastic, and we are moving so fast. Wir drehen jetzt hier die letzte Szene des Tages, die letzten zwei, drei Einstellungen. Und ähm, es geht darum, dass Michelle, die Studentin, ähm, morgens aufwacht und sich einen Kaffee macht und alles erstmal diese gemütliche Atmosphäre etabliert, bevor sie zur Uni loshuscht und den ähm, Musiker trifft, dem sie dann quasi ihre äh, Herausforderungen in den Geigenkasten wirft. Nämlich sie schmeißt einen kleinen Go-Stein in den Geigenkasten und fordert ihn damit zum abendlichen Spiel heraus. Und sie, diese Szene hier etabliert, etabliert erstmal so ein bisschen die, die Stimmung des Spots, alles erstmal gemütlich ein bisschen. Und äh, ja, wir versuchen gerade in den späten Abendstunden noch einmal morgen viel hier aufkommen zu lassen. Michelle, die hervorragend gut Kaffee einschenken kann. Man hat das Gefühl, sie wurde dafür trainiert. Und das machen wir jetzt. So, okay.